All right. So we're going to back the trailer in. I've got to clean up a little bit in the inside. But guess what? Guess what I've got? That's right. Fenders. So we'll uh, we'll back this in, get the trailer warmed up, and then uh, at some point I'll start working on putting those fenders on. And I'll check underneath, see how everything looks. A lot of you folks had mentioned how to check it out. Maybe an update on my wrist and my weight. Mm -hmm. All right. So first thing, we'll go inside and clean up. Wow. So I'm really thankful to have an indoor shop. I've had days where we would have done stuff like that outside in the driveway. In the cold weather, was so I get to stay warm in here, but I need to neaten this up and make room to back this trailer in. So let's get to it. Great. Let's see. Made those uh, saw horses stackable, of course. Of course. <laughs> These are going outside in the cold. trying to clear a path through here. When I roll up cords, I like to do big loops. Some people will wrap them around their elbows and, and arm. For me, I've, I've struggled un, un, uh, untangling those. Just a preference, I think. Some people do like a, like a knitting kind of thing where they weave it. In the cold weather, that doesn't work very well. More cord. My easel for chop talks. I should do a, a, a job cost at some point soon. See where we're at. And one last thing, we get these, all these tools out of the way. Put them up here for just a little bit. Brought these in out of the trailer just to kind of look them over, make sure they're all running okay. Ouch. I'll leave this set of saw horses in here just in case I need to do something with it. Set them over here out of the way. Tuck the power trowel over in this corner. I have to do some winter maintenance on this. It's time for new blades. They say with a pallet jack you're supposed to release it all the way down so that the piston goes back in. It's supposed to be better for it. All right, I believe we can back a trailer in here. All right, let's back this, this bad boy in here, see how it goes. I bet I don't hit it first time. Kind of hard to see backing in sometimes.
I guess I'm in. All right. My drone isn't really liking something. It's beeping up there. What's your problem up there, buddy? Come on down. Something you don't like? <laughs> Okay, we're in there. All right. That's pretty good. I'll un unhook here, and I guess we'll uh, get working on these fenders. Okay, unhook the trailer. I'll give you a little update in a minute on my on my wrist. Okay, turn the heat on. Don't want to scratch my fender, huh? Oh, wow. All wrapped up. Here's, here's two of them here. Anyway, oh, all nice and shiny, protective wrap on it. We'll get those on. It should be really nice looking trailer. Contemplated painting this a little bit, maybe. So, uh, <coughs> so I weighed myself, and guess what I weigh? One ninety two point two, really. I think it's the the, uh, the the wrist thing that I have to wear. It's probably three or four pounds. Yeah, I know, not really. Uh, I was kind of didn't do much for a couple of days, so I didn't get my exercise in like normal. So I kind of got some pent up energy I want to burn. Anyway, uh, update on my wrist. The, the doctor called and said it's a, a torn ligament somewhere in here. They, they wanted me to wear this just to stabilize it. But, um, it, it uh, when I bend it this way or back, it hurts quite a bit. So it's something right in here. I don't know. Still waiting to hear back from the orthopedist for an appointment. Um, the wheels of progress turn slowly in the medical field. They are right out straight, so I'm not upset at all. I mean, when I talked with my doctor the day this happened <clears throat> to see if I could get in, their book, they, they said I couldn't get in until the middle of January, which is a little over a month away. And I, uh, and then the, the nurse was very helpful. She says, well, you could just go to a walk-in clinic and get it checked out. So I did that, and they, um, they got me right in. They ordered an x-ray. I went in and got the x-ray, and I think the next day I heard back from them that it was a torn ligament and that they would contact the orthopedist who will call to make an appointment. The next day I didn't hear from them, so I called them and left a message I still haven't heard back. So I'm waiting to hear, and I understand they are just super busy. Everybody's got problems. I'm not the only one in the world, apparently. <laughs> so 
So that's, that's all I have for an update right now. But anyway, we're going to, I'll just go easy with this and uh, see what we can do. So thanks for watching. Just a quick update. Gaining weight a little bit, three pounds maybe overall the past week. That's, I've had two cups of coffee this morning, so, <laughs> uh, you know, that's got to be something. I don't know. Hope you folks are doing well with your diet. Hope you're sticking to it. With, a, with Christmas coming up, it's going to be hard. Uh, I have lost 12, 12, well, 10 or 12 pounds, and I'm feeling good about that. So it, from now on, as long as I maintain that or do better, I really would like to lose another 10. If I do, good. If not, good. I'm good with it either way. Good. All right. Thanks for watching.